Thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. So in this video, I forged a goose wing inspired hewing axe. So a couple of months ago, my friend Johan Johansson came to visit. We're friends from a while back. And he brought with him, and he's currently working and training to become a timber man. Uh, and he uses hewing axes uh, very often. And in his car, he had a really nice old a goose wing hewing axe, which I think are uh, German and Austrian in origin, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Anyways, I got to see the axe and I was really inspired by how it was looking. Uh, and I mean, uh, Scandinavian hewing axes are cool as well, but uh, it was something, you know, really, you know, epic about the, the German and the Austrian goose wing axes. They are so, you know, fat and uh, too much almost you know they're, they're super uh, some of them were really heavy and and uh, really you know aggressive looking and I, I really liked them uh, however not having much experience in hewing myself uh, I really had to study the the axe that he brought to to understand the proportions and stuff like that so I made an attempt this is what came out of it I'm quite happy uh, with the shape of it uh, as, at least the profile of it um, However, there are a few things that I um, that I did didn't manage to get which I wanted, and uh, one of those things is I mentioned the weight of them. Uh, the one that he had was quite heavy. I'm not exactly sure, but it was probably around two kilo, two point five kilo, almost up to three kilos of weight in the in the head. And it, of course, not all of the goosewing axes are the same. There were probably some lighter and some more heavier, of course. But the one that he had was quite heavy. And he told me that he really liked that axe because the axe did the work and he, uh, it was almost like he was aiming and the axe were doing the work. And, uh, and I started thinking about that and it's, it's the same with all tools, really. Like, it depends on who you are and uh, and how you work with your tools. And some people like heavier axes, some people like lighter axes. Uh, it it all depends on how how you work with your tools, I guess. Uh, anyways, his axe was really heavy, and I liked the idea that the tool was, was doing the job. However, I did not manage to make this heavy enough. So this weighs around uh, all all together around two kilos with the head and the 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 handle maybe a little under two kilos uh, which i would like it to be a lot more than that why it's not as heavy as i wanted it was because i did not manage to get the reinforced edge thick enough uh, i thought that i had enough material but it show uh, but eventually i found out that i didn't uh, sometimes it's better to weigh your material before you start forging other than just eyeballing it which i like to do I like to eyeball it all the time and and yeah so so I, that, that's a lesson I learned that I need to you know be more certain uh, if I were to do this again I would probably do do it more accurately next time so there are some different kinds of schools when it comes to hewing axes uh, there are what uh, we are what we call single beveled axes hewing axes uh, basically having a chisel grind on them so only one angle is uh, grinded uh, uh, or one bevel on one side and usually you can see the handle is actually sticking out on the side on those so that you don't uh, hurt your knuckles when you're hewing the, the timber. However, there are also uh, regular um, double beveled hewing axes. This is one of those and my friend's axe was also one of those. Uh, and the idea there is that you can have a straight handle because the bevel uh, the, um, has, you know, a degree, uh, has a radius to it so that when you're, if you're uh, cutting uh, with the bevel you are uh, automatically standing outside of the log anyways because, because of the bevel, uh, the radius of the bevel. So, that is one way to to do it. Uh, I, I don't know exactly the history behind the two bevels, but that's just something that I thought of. And uh, since he's doing it a lot, I listen to him. Um, so 
this was a really hard axe to forge. It was the first project that I did after came ba coming back from being sick. Um, and uh, <laughs> yeah, so the Swedish eye, I made the Swedish eye on this one, uh, the color here. Uh, there are a few different ways that you can do this color. One way is just to punch a hole and draw the the eye out on a mandrel or something like that, or a, or a drift, uh, and then forge weld on the blade. However, I chose not to do that. Uh, one another way to do it is uh, like I did in the Scandinavian hewing, hewing axe video, where I take um, take uh, and uh, and um, wrap uh, the back side of the eye around and then I take a, a, a the body piece and weld it to that so it, that's a, a quite tricky weld or you can do it the, the the Swedish eye style which you saw in this video and um, if you were to try this I would uh, suggest that you learn from my mistakes and one thing that I noticed uh, when I was going to do the weld was that um, you know, uh, imagine here that we have this flat, not wrapped yet. Uh, so here is the part where I didn't uh, forge down, basically. Uh, where I didn't have set downs, I should say. And here I had set downs. And I should have waited with doing the cut for the colored uh, forge weld stuff. Because by I did it too early and I still needed to draw out, so the cut came all the way back here. And if you look closely, you can actually see that there are some small gaps here and also on the other side as well. So it's a super hard forge weld. Uh, I can't say that I've mastered it at all. Uh, it's very, very hard for me. And uh, as it is with most axes that you make, that it, it takes a long time before you're confident with one model. That's just uh, how it is, and it's uh, it takes you. Uh, it, it will probably take me at least ten more tries before I'm at least a little bit confident to to make them, you know. So, so that's that's just how it is, you know. I'm starting to get a little bit conf confident with the Viking axis with that kind of weld. However, I still do fail from time to time, and doing something like this, it's it's just it's just uh, insanely hard for me. Um, but it's it's a really nice challenge, and uh, and uh, and that's why I do it. Uh, I like the challenge, and uh, also it's cool to produce something that uh, that looks cool. And this axe definitely looks pretty cool. Uh, I like it. I also chose to make you know the the handle uh, when the handle meets the the collar. I chose to make those uh, you know the same level. So when you're reaching up, it, there's no you know. Uh, no bumps, uh, so you're, you can go, go up really close to it if you want to. I don't know if you really need that on a hewing axe, um, but I've seen a couple that has this, you know, uh, uh, they, they remove the bumps, uh, and I guess that's why. Uh, I don't see the reasons why other, otherwise. If you need to get close, if there's some precision work, I suppose. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. The handle is just uh, some basic ash that I had laying around, not the best quality. Um, but I chose to, since it's just a, a project of my own, I'm not going to sell this axe or, at all, it's, it's just a learning process. I chose to take uh, not the best wood that I had laying around. Ash is pretty good, but it also depends what kind of ash. Uh, I have been getting a lot of questions about uh, when I'm going to restock the web store and uh, I can say that first I want to thank you for uh, purchasing all my access. They are all sent now and they should have arrived uh, and if they haven't they will arrive very shortly. They're outside of Sweden at least and some people have gotten them already. So thank you so much for purchasing all my access. Uh, it went this quick. It took two days and it was out of stock which was a really uh, really cool to see. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, I will restock as soon as I figure out PayPal because PayPal is holding all my money and I can't get it so it's quite nerve-wracking to be honest because I can't reinvest it in my business. I can't pay for shipment. I have to take that out of my private pocket and yeah I don't want to do that. 
so it's quite irritating at the moment trying to figure it out uh, so please have patience and I'll start production again very shortly uh, probably some this week and I'll also try to make more YouTube videos uh, soon as well uh, so if you have any ideas for what you would like to see uh, please leave them in the comment section and I will see them and I'll uh, and I'll think about if it's something that I uh, could possibly do or if it's something out of my league that I need to practice more or stuff like that um, so please come with suggestions you are very welcome to do that uh, other than that uh, like the video if you liked it please consider subscribing if you haven't done that yet we are reaching very close to 10,000 subscribers and followers on Instagram and when we are doing that I will probably make a, another giveaway shortly so so yeah uh, look forward to that uh, if you want to you can support me on patreon the link is in the description and the link to my instagram is also in the description uh, other than that i wish you a good day and i'll see you in the next video goodbye